again, YouTube. This is Dr. Kendo, and we're here with Pikmin 3. There are some new eShop collect treasure mission mode levels. This is the first one that I've downloaded. It's actually the free one, but I have downloaded the paid one, so we will be playing those later and hopefully commentating on those. You can see for the first time on my channel, I'm commentating these solo. And usually I did this with my best man Joseph, and I actually have some coming up with Wally Wood when he was here visiting me, one of my subscribers, actually did visit me from another state here in my town. And so I'm going to be using, of course, the go here command plenty because that's one thing that's unique to solo mission modes is that you can actually do the go here command. When you actually have two players, even if you have more captains than players, obviously if you have three captains but only two players, you still can't do the go here command. That actually, it can hurt you, I would say, because with go here, for instance, you're seeing that I sent Brittany over to this side. She'll actually start plucking Pikmin out of the ground when she gets to that location if you're using the go here command. So it is actually something that you can kind of do more than just walking to one place to the other, you know. So this level is actually really crazy. It's a remix of Tropical Forest. Tropical Forest was the first mission mode for Collect Treasure. I don't want any of my Pikmin to collect anything just yet. I'm basically, what I'm doing is taking out some of these enemies that are at the start, but this is very important. You're seeing that I'm throwing some yellows into these white flowers right here. This is very important. Um, a lot of this level actually consists of this huge treasure mound here, and there's one next to me on either side, actually. And so collecting treasure is a big part of this. This is the collect treasure mission mode, of course. But what's funny is that collect treasure, this mission mode actually does mean collect enemy carcasses and fruits as well because you're not just collecting treasure and that's it. That would honestly be a hell of a lot, I guess, uh, shorter and make less point, I guess, to the whole thing. It would be very fast, <laughs> very easy. So what I'm doing here, of course, is some more go hearing with Alf. And with Brittany, I can get some stuff done while that's happening. This is all about efficiency. You want to think in the most efficient terms possible, the most efficient that you can get it. Because honestly, there's a lot of ways that I think I could be more efficient. One thing you saw, though, was that with that huge treasure mound, they actually can't get back to the other side. So before taking all my Pikmin with me with Alf, I just had them all go take some treasure. So they all took a piece of treasure, and then they couldn't get back over there, which is good because I need them all over here. So you're going to see that that actually was quite a good move on my part, I would actually say. Something that uh, did take me a while to figure out. I've only played this level, let's see, probably about four or five times, I would say. And so, they don't even have the global ranking data yet for this because it's so new. I mean, I just downloaded this and this is the first day when I'm commentating this. It'll probably get uploaded like the fourth or fifth day that it's been up or whatever because, you know, things go a little bit slower on my channel usually. But that was actually another key part right there with Alf. I just got the little uh, potion. I forget what they call this, but it's basically you use it on the Pikmin that are in your squad. It only works on the ones in your squad, so it's not just nearby Pikmin. It's only the ones in your squad, and it basically makes them faster and stronger. And so I'm going to save this, I think, for these orange bull borbs that are way up top. Um, actually, just beyond this frog guy right here. That frog guy is actually kind of beefier than I imagined. Uh, he always is, but... It's not too bad, I guess, if you have overloaded your squad or whatever, and honestly, I think that that's better. There are times where you don't want to have all of your squad with you doing just one thing. You know, you want to multitask and everything like that. There's a lot of times like that, actually. But right there is a good example, and the orange guys, I would say you want to have most of your squad for them, too. You're going to see them coming up pretty soon here. The whole game, though, this whole level seems to be a balance, though, of when I should basically make red Pikmin and yellow Pikmin turn into whites, because in the end, you kind of want all of them to be white Pikmin. And so you saw that I just grabbed some yellows, maybe you noticed that, uh, from they were hiding in the bushes over there. It's only because I've played this level before that I knew they were there. You, Most people, I guess, would see that they're hiding on their first uh, playthrough of this level. And I'm actually slapping this orange bull orb with Brittany. Your captains do have a little bit of an attack. It's a very minor just slap punch attack or whatever, and it doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh, honestly, I don't know when you would use that, but I was just using it to help my Pikmin out there, so maybe that's the only time <laughs> on a really bulky enemy, because honestly, it's not going to do a lot of damage at all. And so, we're of course using these flowers up. A good point to notice is that they actually only can take five Pikmin thrown into them, so once you throw in five, that's the maximum amount, and then they will dissolve, and you won't be able to use that flower anymore. But there's a good, I don't know, eight flowers on this level, something like that and they're all for white Pikmin. 
White Pikmin, uh, if you're new to Pikmin and stuff like that, probably nobody is at this point, but just in case anybody wants to know, the White Pikmin are, have got to be the fastest traveling by land, and they are supposedly poisonous, and I guess if enemies were to eat them and stuff, it would poison them as well. White Pikmin must have appeared in previous Pikmin games, but I never really played them, but they do not appear in the story mode of Pikmin 3. It's unfortunate, because I really like those little guys. They run really fast, and they are kind of tiny, and while, again, they may be weak fighters, they do have the poison, so that helps. So, let's see, um, yeah, most of this now, we're kind of getting to the point, actually, uh, we have defeated all of the enemies, so now what we want to do is find as many of those white flowers as we can, and transfer our reds and yellows into white Pikmin. This is where... Things are really delicate with how you do it, basically. It's like, this is where your efficiency really comes into play, because you've got three groups of treasure, basically, three mounds and stuff, and the middle one is the largest with having a hundred treasures in it. There is a little bit of fruit, but I'm kind of handling most of that. So using go here, of course, is very important, and uh, using leveraging your two captains, of course, is key. These uh, grapes up here, actually, it takes a long time to get those grapes. I didn't even realize how long it would take me, but, geez, every single time I play this, it's like I need, I could put more and more on it. Now, you're going to see that maybe I'm alternating some Pikmin on that treasure mound and then some on the grapes. That's because if you throw just, like, all of them at the grapes at once, they will delay. It'll probably only delay you about a second or two. But that's a second or two that you could have doing something else. So I'll kind of alternate and so they won't really get like backed up in their line of grapes by alternating, throwing some to the treasure mound that's next to it and some to the grapes. So it's just my thought. Maybe I'm saving a second or two, but I mean, that's precious second or twos that you could have at the end. And uh, to tell you the truth, I have not beaten this one yet. I'm really hoping that I go for the platinum here. I've gotten gold every other time that I've played, but I haven't beaten it. Oh my gosh, there was a tons of guys right here. That's going to cost me. I probably should have been doing something with them. And we're going to go here. Alf, um, I probably need to get the treasure that's on the far right side, because I don't think I've touched that very much yet. And so with this... Kind of when you've got everybody doing a job and everything, you need to then position your captains in a spot where maybe they'll be close when that job is done. Because, of course, if you're done collecting all the treasure or all the fruits in one area, your Pikmin will go back to that area and just stand there. And so, you don't want that to happen. As much as you can, you want to eliminate the idle standing there time. Oh my gosh, yes, I got rid of this uh, center treasure. So that's good. So I need to leave Brittany probably over here because a lot of them are going to be coming back to that center area since it had like a hundred or whatever. Uh, so yeah, my gosh, I didn't carry out this carcass. Dang, I have a lot to do, I feel like. Uh, okay, so throw them all in the treasure. We got some white ones to pluck. All right, so here's what I was talking about. Brittany needs to get all of these fools that are hanging out over here. All whites, of course. Let's bring them all over to that last treasure. That's the last treasure mound, I think, so I just need to send everybody on it. So a big thing, of course, is to Z-target it. You use Z, pull it like uh, in Zelda when you Z-target something. Oh my gosh! And then you shake the nunchuck, and uh, they all swarm it and all do that one task. I was saying, oh my gosh, because I don't know if I'm going to make it. Oh my lord, this is like four seconds. Three. Oh my gosh, that was the last one. Yes! Did it. Mission complete. That's what I'm talking about. So now let's see how this scoring comes out. I mean, I only had two seconds left. I can't be doing all that great. I don't think we're going to get to see how I compare to global contenders, but I got platinum and that's all I care about. This was my first platinum on this one. Yeah, it looks like I've played it about four or five times before, so... Yep, I hope that everybody enjoyed that. I hope that that helped you if you are learning how to do this more efficiently. Not that I'm, again, the master of efficiency on this particular level. But I will hopefully cast all the other Pikmin eShop levels that have come out. There was four other ones, so there's plenty to do. So I appreciate it, and I will catch you on the next vid, and thanks for viewing.